Emily Malone, Christina Wiedinghoff, and Clara Simpson spent a week in Nagoya, Japan. They helped draft what is being called the Youth Accord. It's a collective statement from young people representing 12 countries concerned with the state of our ecosystems. It was presented at the UN Convention on Biological Diversity. The most important thing would be agriculturally um, and medicinally. There's a lot of uh, people in developing countries that are extremely dependent on that for um, their, their livelihood, but also just to survive. Biodiversity refers to the variety of animals and plants on Earth. It's an issue right here at home. Part of the woodlot owned by the University of New Brunswick is being cleared for projects such as the new Costco. Plans are infringing upon its wetlands, which are home to many species of animal and plants, some endangered. The accord presented in Japan demand that a deadline be set to stop the preventable loss of biodiversity around the world and to keep the opinions of young people in mind. While these young Canadian women are doing their bit, Canada as a country got some negative recognition. It received a Dodo Award for blocking negotiations and for being difficult when discussing 2020 biodiversity targets. For Stu Journalism, I'm Haley Ryan.